brothers and sisters, today marks a very special moment in the life of our church and in your life as well. The Seventh-day Adventist Church across the entire Intermercan Division launches the program, Lord Transform Me. This program is a personal prayer. We hope that every member of the church will be praying, Lord Transform Me. But it is our also program in which we are launching a special strategic issue to fulfill the mission of the church in our territory. One, transform and live that personal initiative where we have a connection with Christ. Number two, explore and learn where we want to do a personal investigation to ensure how are we standing with the Lord and also to investigate within our church and our community what else can we do in order to be more effective as we fulfill the mission. And then number three, each of us connecting with a member of the church and someone outside of the church and sharing as we develop social and spiritual relationships. And then we're going to be proclaiming and reaping, preach the word and bring souls for Christ. When all of that is done, everyone who comes into the church, we want to be sure they are discipled and they are conserved. Lord, transform me. This is the moment. You are the person that we're asking to be in the place to receive this special transformation by the Spirit of God. Lord, transform me. Let's see transformation in your church, in every aspect of the life of the church. Transformation. And we pray Christ will come soon and we will be ready to go home. Lord, transform me. It is a plea that Paul is extending to all believers through the ages. I beseech ye, brethren. And then he goes to Romans 12, verse 2, that reads, And be not confirmed to the world, but be he transformed by the renewing of your mind. He divides the relationship with God in these two aspects. One, what we can do, and secondly, what only God can do. When he says, be he not confirmed, this is something that we can do. What is it in the world that makes us like the world so much? This is what Paul is saying. What you see, don't be enamored by this, because there is something better. We can decide not to conform to the world. What is it? As we look around the environment in which we live, things that are happening, we ask ourselves, what is it so much in this world that we should like it? And when we measure that with what the Lord has promised to us, we say, by no way, I want Jesus. I want to be in heaven and not to be like the world. There are many good things, certainly so. There are many good things, but none of these can compare to what the Lord has promised to us. The so-called goods of this world are saturated with all kinds of hazards and dangers. Greed, violence, treachery, all these things are involved in this world. Non-godliness. And then the Lord says, this is what is out there. But I ask you, allow me to transform you. Allow me to bring to your heart the love of the present and the future. Let me transform you. And that's why he says, be he transformed. Do not confirm to what you see, but let me transform you. Let me make you over. Let me put in your heart the ardent wish to be like my son, Jesus Christ. Lord, transform me is a reality. It's a prayer that we should pray every day. Because this transformation will manifest itself in the way how we relate to God, to His church, and to His people. You see, as Christians, we, I, I see us as Christians as this. We are a group of people living in a camp, God's camp. We leave this environment, we go out to work, and then we come back to our camp, to where we belong, to where God is with us. So. We go into the world, but we do not belong to the world. 
we belong to our Lord. And so we come back and here we are distinctly different. It is a distinct possibility that the Lord can transform us to be different. It is unacceptable if we allow the world to control us while we have the call, the assistance, and the guiding of the Spirit to be transformed. Reflecting this transformation that's occurring in us, we will be far more active in God's environment. The church will become a living reality for us. It will be where we are more comfortable. We will be involved in the church activities. We will be involved in the life of the church. We will be involved as Christians to let the world know that we are different. We are not to be just spectators in church. We are to be active participants. And this transformation will help us to achieve that goal. Every day, we should pray, Lord, transform me. Lord, transform us. If we just pray, if we just pray, the Lord will change us, the Lord will perfect His church, and the Lord will help us to be far more comfortable in a godly environment. Let's pray every day, Lord, transform me. Lord, transform us. May the Lord bless you.